Hi, today I'm giving away a free preset for DaVinci Resolve that does stuff like this. Ooh, ooh, ee, ah. Or like this. Oh, ooh, ah, ee. If you follow the link in the description, you will get this DRFX file. If you double click that, it will either launch Resolve or if Resolve is already open, uh, it will give you this pop-up lock that says, do you want to install? You can just click install, give it a quick second to think about it. And then if you open your effects library, come to Sterling Supply Company underneath effects, you should see down here, SSC Stabilize Lock. Just drag and drop that onto any clip you want to work with. Uh, this is a clip I used when I was making the effect. And I'm going to go to the beginning of my clip. And I, I, in this drop down menu here, I'm going to select Fusion Overlay. I'll turn that on. And here you see now we have these tracking controls here in the center. I'm going to reposition this just to my eye here. Make sure I'm at the beginning of my scene. Uh, and then in effects, I'm going to click this button to track forward. And you won't be able to see anything at first, but actually if you move your mouse over the viewer, you'll see that tracker doing its thing. It just doesn't update automatically. You just need to like check in on it. But then after that quick track, you should get a pop-up that says, hey, render completed. Click OK. Now it has shifted our footage a little bit and we will deal with that in a second. Uh, but real quick, if I toggle off this fusion overlay and come through and just play through my footage, you'll notice my eye stays pretty centered, great. So now we just need to adjust that shift. So I'm gonna go um, towards where it feels like uh, we are, uh, I am closest to the edge of the screen. So most of the footage is off screen. I am going to scale up a healthy amount and even do a little uh, position or center scale as well. So now it is just my face and my face stays pretty still. Um, it even has that uh, like motion blur look, which I like and then uh, the rest of the footage moves around that. This is a pretty popular effect and I can't think of a faster way to get it done than this. Always possible you might run into some tracking issues. I've seen small blips occasionally where I actually need to jump into Fusion and clear that Fusion cache, but that should only be a preview issue and on export, even if you have those blips, it should still come through fine. But again, I think it works pretty well. If you want an overview of some of the other free presets I've given away, uh, this video I will link to here goes over a ton of the free presets in under 90 seconds. It just lists through them all. It's pretty cool. Uh, check that out if you want more. Thanks. I'll see you next time.